Hi guys, welcome to the Gear House. Today I wanted to talk about this holster, which is the uh, insurgent inside and outside the waistband holster from Versicary. Um, I bought this from my Glock 43, which I purchased as a backup to my SIG P365, which is my normal everyday carry firearm, um, which normally uh, I would be carrying around for the longest time was using this guy. This is the uh, first version of Versicary's Rebel, and I love this holster. Um, but when I bought the Glock, uh, they didn't have the Rebel with uh, Glock 43 as an option. It was only made for the P365 or the Hellcat, uh, at least at the time. I know there's a version 2. I haven't gotten my hands on it yet to make my own opinions, but if it's anywhere as good as the first one, it's outstanding. And I think it comes in more versions um, than just those two firearms, which is great. But that being said, when I bought that Glock, I knew I wanted a holster like my Rebel. Um, so keeping an eye on my emails, Versicary is great about communication, uh, plus putting on a lot of really great sales, which I really appreciate about them. Um, I saw that this came out uh, around the same time that I got that Glock. And I was very, very excited because looking at it, I knew it was going to be at least very similar to that Rebel. And it is in a lot of ways, really a lot of positive ways. Um, so ordered it up and I've been very, very happy with it. Uh, I bought the Glock as a backup to the SIG because certain areas have magazine restrictions. Um, specifically an area I find myself in a lot has a 10 round uh, capacity limit. Uh, so the 365 with its 12 round mags wouldn't fly. Glock 43 comes into play makes a great backup. Um, so that's where this came into play. I bought this basically to be as close to the Rebel as I could get at the time that would accommodate a Glock 43. So pros and cons of this. Uh, it is incredibly comfortable, um, even without the padded back that the Rebel has. Um, I've worn this for in excess of 12 hours at a time and largely forgot I was wearing, wearing it. So it's incredibly comfortable. Um, one concern I usually have with hybrid holsters um, is retention, as leather just kind of softens up, um, especially if you're doing a lot of hard work in it. Um, I've kind of chosen the Glock 43 to also be my like hard work gun, if that makes sense. If I'm doing anything where I know I'm going to get sweaty and disgusting, uh, I typically will carry the Glock for that. I don't know how I came to that conclusion, it's just what I've been doing. But that being said, this holster has been exposed to a lot of sweat and the leather has actually held up really well. It's still very rigid um, and it still retains the firearm wonderfully. Obviously there is a, a screw here that you can use to adjust how hard uh, it's holding the firearm. Um, and after the initial setting, I've never had to retighten it no matter how much I've sweat on this uh, holster. So that's all awesome. Um, it's a pro for some people. It's kind of a, a non-factor for me because I don't ever open carry. Um, in most scenarios, I kind of advise against it. Um, if you're out in public, I, I just think it paints a target on your back. But if you are hunting uh, in an area that allows you to have a sidearm that allows you to open carry while hunting, um, or let's say maybe a security job where you're allowed to open carry, or it's your prerogative if you just open carry in general, you have that option with this. Just by removing those clips, you have belt loops, which is really a cool design. Um, again, I've only ever used it for inside the waistband. My state doesn't allow open carry in really any scenario outside of, I think, just law enforcement. Again, don't quote me on it. Um, and in terms of carrying, always look up your laws. Um, they vary like crazy. Every place is different. It's important uh, that we follow those laws and that we make a good example of ourselves to keep the good image of gun owners in, in America. So look up your laws, uh, do the right thing and follow them. But all that being said, if you are in a position where open carry is a good idea, you like to open carry whatever, you have that option with this, as well as being an inside the waistband holster. I'm very likely going to get another one of these for my SIG P320 um, so that I can have something just as comfortable for that because right now I only have uh, like a duty uh, level two retention holster for that. It'd be nice to have something that would allow me to conceal carry it. And this is a great option for it. Um, so really, I, it's mostly pros, really. 
um, comfortable, good retention, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. Uh, frankly, all of their products look great. The Kydex looks great. The leather looks great. Um, if I had, if I had to pick uh, cons, I would prefer the padded back that the Rebel has, uh, simply because I don't open carry. But I understand why it can't have that if it's meant to be worn outside the waistband. That will just make it sit funny against your pants. It'll be extra bulky. You can't make that kind of fabric tough and durable, so getting that exposed to the elements isn't a great idea. It makes perfect sense why this doesn't have a padded back. And even without it, it's still incredibly comfy. Um, the only other thing that I would say, and this, this is a little more of a gripe, again, for me, the screws that hold the clips, I have to tighten them every couple times I take this holster off and put it back on. Um, I'm probably just going to put a little bit of Loctite on those screws and just be done with it. Um, if you only plan on carrying inside the waistband, that might be a good solution. Um, but if you plan on open carrying with it and uh, conceal carrying it inside the waistband, um, Loctite's probably a bad call because uh, you want to be able to take these clips on and off relatively easily, which you can. It's just those two screws that hold them into place, which makes it easy to, easy to tighten if you need to, but easy to remove. Um, so if again, if I had to pick cons, I would like a padded back, but I completely understand why uh, it doesn't. I'm not going to ding points against it. Uh, maybe they could make the machine the screws a little better to make those not loosen up so easily. I don't know. But if those are the only negatives I have to pick at, uh, we're doing good. Um, and again, despite abusing this, sweating all over it, getting it disgusting, um, that leather still holds really, really well. So, so we can all see, and again, I'll make this very clear. This is the firearm in question. There is no ammunition in it in the magazine or in the chamber of the firearm. We are completely clear and safe. So taking this firearm, again, one big concern people have with leather is retention. But again, this, I have never had a retention problem after adjusting tension for the first time. So I'm gonna try to avoid muzzling myself. Um, again, shaking it, wobbling it, upside down, everything, it retains just fine. And the fortunate thing is that even with that good retention, it's not sticky at all. The draw is clean, smooth, and consistent, and it has a very positive click. Kind of, It's not a proper retention, like level two retention kind of thing, but it's a very positive, tactile feeling when the gun sits in place. You know it's seated well. So, again, I, as someone who is typically, especially these days, more inclined to go full Kydex, I couldn't, I wouldn't tell you to go to any other brand in the hybrid market other than VersaCarry. I've tried a number of them. The, obviously, that Rebel has served me very well with that P365. This holster has served me incredibly well with this Glock. Um, I, I, I genuinely would tell you, if you're going to go hybrid, get a VersaCarry 10 times out of 10. Um, if you have any personal experience with this holster, I would love to hear it. I'd love to know if it's positive, negative, whatever you've come across. I would also love to hear uh, any opinions on everything else in the VersaCarry line. If you've tried just the full leather stuff, the new Rebel, like I said, I don't have uh, I don't have one yet, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on that if you have one. But again, if you're gonna go hybrid, th this is an outstanding option. And like I said, VersaCarry does a lot of uh, sales all the time, which I appreciate because it keeps the prices competitive, if not better a lot of the time uh, than some of the direct competition. Uh, I have a link in the description to uh, VersaCarry's website where you can check out the line of holsters, everything they have. Um, get your hands on one yourself. Um, let me know what you think. Otherwise, thank you for coming over to the Gearhouse. I will talk to you guys soon.